we ended last season of Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist on a very emotional goodbye. Um, we were anticipating the loss of Mitch throughout the entire season, and by the end, we finally lost him, which was very sad. And we had a, an amazing musical number in American Pie that was a six minute wonder at the funeral for Mitch. And so season two, we pick up about seven weeks after Mitch's death. Zoe has been living at home with her mom and she hasn't heard a heart song since the day the music died. Season two explores how we move on after losing someone. The grieving process doesn't just end when somebody passes away, it continues, it morphs, it changes shape. And throughout season two, we watch Zoe and the Clark family um, live with this tremendous loss that they suffered. In season two, you better believe we have a lot of amazing musical numbers choreographed by Emmy winner Mandy Moore. Um, season two, we get to see a lot more of the backstory of some of our other characters, some of your fan favorites. You'll get to know more about them. Coming back to work has been such a blessing. I feel so privileged to be able to have a job in this moment and to be able to work on this job that means so much to me. I love this show, I love that our audience loves our show, and I love the crew and the cast, and so it's been just so thrilling to be able to shoot more of this story. And, you know, two things go on at once where it, it feels so bizarre to be back at work after so much time at home, but it also feels very normal at the same time. And um, I'm really excited for you guys to see what we're working on. One of the songs that I'm really looking forward to watching this season is Baby Did a Bad Bad Thing by Chris Isaacs. It also has incredible choreography, of course. Mandy Moore only does incredible choreography. And I'm also excited for a couple duets. I may or may not be involved in those. Can't tell you. I think that our show explores universal themes in life that everyone can understand uh, across different cultures and in different languages. We talk about love and connection and empathy and loss and grief. And I'm pretty sure there isn't a human being on earth that doesn't understand those things. The finale of episode one, uh, the musical number American Pie, which was a almost seven minute wonder with the entire cast was a incredible way to end the season. It takes so much teamwork and camaraderie and communication and that is the best thing about filmmaking is um, working with a, a group of people to achieve a goal and boy do I think we achieved it. I have so many fantasy heart songs that I, Jane as Zoe, would love to sing. Some of them I might mention and you won't think they make sense, but I could figure out a way. Um, I like Ariana Grande, No Tears Left to Cry, uh, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road by Elton John, um, Misunderstanding by Genesis, Anything by Bonnie Raitt, Dolly Parton. I could keep going, but who wants to listen? I enjoy everything about working on Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. It sounds like hyperbolic, but it's true. I love this character. I love the cast. We have an amazing crew. I love Vancouver, where we shoot the show. I'm from San Francisco, where the show takes place. Uh, I mean, ultimately, the best part is being surrounded by music and dancing. It is a very uh, joyful work environment, and it also has me flexing muscles that I've never flexed before. In season two, you will see Zoe coping with her grief in various ways. She is a coder, so by nature she's very problem solvy 
if that's a way you can describe someone. And it makes her a bit crazy that she can't solve her grief. And over and over, her superpower tells her and tells the audience that you can't solve everything. Some things you have to feel and experience and you have to continue to hear the melody in life. And so time and time again, Zoe has to be reminded that this is going to be an ongoing process. But she tries being a rebel. She tries being sober. She tries drinking. She tries escaping her grief through sexual relations. <laughs> um, all of it as ways to just, you know, feel good because she's deep down in a lot of pain. <laughs>